All right, what's up you guys? I'm Judge Ryan, back for another video. Now we are starting on the journey of official Blackpink music videos. We're going back to the beginning and we are starting with their first music video, Boombaya. Full disclosure, I'm a blink. I've seen this video a hundred million times. I've heard the song a hundred million times. It's best in the car with the volume all the way the fuck. Now I, although I've already seen it and it's not my, um, official first reaction, I'm going to be re-reacting to it and, you know, just kind of sprinkling my two cents about what I think of it and everything. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, before Ginny starts spitting them bars, some backstory. I became a fan of Blackpink around the time of their Coachella performance because I saw all the influencers, you know, everybody posting on their stories, Blackpink, Blackpink. I'm like, who the fuck is Blackpink? I had no idea. I never heard of them before. So, you know, I did my little thing and I'm subscribed to the Zach Sang Show, who I really love his interviews. And when I saw they did an interview, I was like, okay, who the fuck? are these girls that everyone is talking about. Now, I really like to watch interviews of artists so that I really can, you know, get a feel for who they are. And lots of times that helps me fall in love with their music even more or to start listening to them. So I decided to, you know, watch the interview. It was a longer interview, but I loved it because he really went over the basics of who each member is and like how Ginny is from New Zealand. And I was surprised at how you know, they could speak English, some of them. And, like, how Rosé is from Australia and has an Aussie accent. Like, who knew? Who knew? I thought they literally would just be speaking Korean or something. And so I learned a lot, and that's where I really enjoyed it. And now one thing that made me go and watch their actual performances was in their interview, Ginny was talking about how doing, like, the kill this love dance and everything how it can be tiring on the arm. And I was like, oh, that's funny. Like, I want to see their performance and see if that's true. I'm not kidding you. One of the first performances I watched was their Coachella, Kill This Love. And when I say that their Coachella set is my favorite, hands down, my favorite live Blackpink performance ever, I'm not fucking lying, okay? It's my favorite. And that's what hooked me. So then I started watching the videos and everything, and when I heard Boom By Ah, which I think was one of the first ones I heard, I was like, what? Like, I thought this was K-pop, not like Bollywood, because you know, it's very like influenced from Bollywood culture, I feel like. So like hearing this type of sound, you know, kind of threw me. I wasn't sure at first, but then you see this right here. You see Ginny, she stands up and she goes like that. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Okay, what's so funny though is you can tell like this is like young Ginny from whenever they first debuted because I feel like in all their early music videos like this one like she has this look with her hair is done a certain way and like the look it's just kind of like this baby doll look so you can always tell where they're at because now Ginny is like such a badass I just think it's really cool how you can see the progression and Ginny just fucking owns it. Like, she always has. Like, when she came out, I said, okay, okay, she might be my bias. Sexy right there. Okay. Now, not to be critical, but, you know, Jisoo in this music video, her concepts aren't necessarily my favorite. However, I love her voice. She has this, I can't, I can't describe it. Rosé also sounds amazing, like, but with a completely different tone. What I love about Blackpink is you can tell each one's voices, like, immediately. You know, Ginny's got that really thick, nice vocal. You know, Rosé has a very, like, higher nasally sound, which I love. Jisoo, however, something's completely different from them. Shout out to YG because, like, they... They knew what they were doing, putting 
four girls that all look amazing, but all look different and all sound different together. I mean, it's magic. So Rosé is looking great, you know. Um, also, one thing about K-pop is I don't know a lot, okay? Especially when I first saw this, I did not know anything. But for me, the color palette in this video is a little bit too, like, bubblegum, cotton candy for me. Whereas if you, like, look at the, you know, colors in Kill This Love and Do 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 Do, um, they're just much more sophisticated, in my opinion. And... What I see that sets Blackpink apart is those sophisticated colors. They're a little bit darker. They're not just like this cutesy little, you know, K-pop, like, n -n 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 group, you know? I wish they weren't so kind candy because their choreography at points can be, is I think probably some of their sexiest choreography, but yet you have this like little girl color palette going on. See right there, that's sexy. Okay, I see it back. She still looks great. Great. Oh my god. Jenny. Jenny, sit right here with the ripped jeans. Okay, a mini L. And then they start to take it with the hair. Right here, this is very Bollywood themed, and I was like thrown, because I was like, wait, I didn't know they were very. I thought K-pop was so different. I don't know. Okay, now we're gonna switch concepts. Ginny on top of the car right there? That's sexy. Sexy. This little part right here where she's banging her foot and it's like, I think it might be on the beat and then she hits the camera away. I love this part. Yes. This is sexy. Sexy right here. That's sexy up against the wall. Then they're on top of each other. Okay, right here. Now right here. Jisoo is like wet. It's very sexy. It looks like, you know, she just spent, you know, an hour and a half getting it on. So yeah, it's sexy. Rosé is up against the car, going under their legs.
because sorry we got cut off my camera died um but what i was saying was just that i i love this music video okay because their performance like greatly outshines that little critique I have. The song is so much fun. I love it. It's so hype, so upbeat. The music video was too. Like, it was great. This is one of my favorite choreographies just because it looks so much fun. Now, I am a crazy person about, like, video resolution and clarity. And this was fucking high quality. Now, I, it may not be in 4K, like, per se on YouTube, but you can tell this was shot fucking incredibly incredibly everything was in focus everything was clear that's what i love about k-pop videos and you could tell this video had budget budget and it shows and you know what you get what you pay for honestly like it was amazing and you know what after seeing the music video you know watching the dance practice and then seeing them perform it live i'm even more blown away by blackpink because they did all of this, like, they did the most with their choreography. They did the most. But yet, they still did it, and they sang live, and it was incredible. Like, that shit, that shit is a fucking workout. That's, like, full-on high-intensity interval cardio, like, fucking max crazy workout. And they do it all the fucking time in their shows. Like, it just... It blows me away. They're so talented. I love them. The next video we have is Whistle because, of course, that was, you know, came out at the same time when they debuted. I love that song a lot. So, that video is coming tomorrow. Subscribe. See you later. Bye.